Oh, did you manage to crash the ball last night, then? No. Never even got me out down for ten minutes. Is it true that uh, our MO is covered for ENT out of hours? Believe it or not, why? Ten-year-old. Foreign body stuck in right ear. <laughs> but it was a good one last night. I'll leave Mr Floppy with you. Well, that is well and truly stuck, young lady. Unfortunately, I'm not specially trained for this. I'm just a general physician. And I'm afraid that the proper ear, nose and throat doctors don't come on till nine o'clock. Please complain to the managers. I have, but I'm only a doctor. Oh, stiff up a lip now, Raj. Ah, <laughs> what a night, eh? James, quick, draw the curtains. What's the matter? You know that bird I'm supposed to marry? His old man is an Indian Don Corleone. Don't ask. Yeah? Well, he must have sent the latter on to persuade me not to back out of the arrangement. What? No one's injured. Anyway, we're looking for Dr. Raja. Dr. Raja? Cubicle five. Sorry. Tom Hughes has dropped his peak flow, so I've restarted Nebs. We'll uh, get to that later on. Andrew. Um, we'll do the post take round after we've um, attended to last night's business. You don't mind, do you, Phil? I've asked Carolyn to come in about lunchtime so we can find out what happened with Mr. Mansfield. Oh, it's my half day today. I was hoping to be away by one. Yeah, fine by me. Should be able to get a hospital PM by tomorrow. Oh, coroner's job is. Yeah. Uh, what was his name? James Parker. Yeah. Winnie Mansfield dies because someone puts her oxygen on the wrong setting. Parker is a perfectly fit 28-year-old in for tests. Drops dead on the ward last uh, night. Put me through to the coroner's office. Found by staff nurse Charlie when she came to give him some temazepam. Will you excuse us, please, Andrew? Arrangements can be made for a hospital post-mortem this afternoon. Would avoid dirty linen if we could keep it in-house, Barry. No witch hunts, no scapegoats. We find out what went wrong and put it right. Refer to the coroner if there are any unanswered questions. That's what we all want, Barry. Yeah, I should cocoa. Mistake. Sorry. Much obliged, Barry. You wanted to see me, Mr. Tennant? Yes, yeah, sister. Staff nurse Pam Charnley, who was on duty last night and the night Mrs. Mansfield died, mm -hmm. you're aware she had a psychiatric history. Don't we vet our staff? Beggars can't be choosers. I've got an outpatient clinic. Yes, of course, Dr. Turner. Andrew. I prefer it if you didn't talk to other consultants about my patients, unless it's a matter of clinical urgency. Phil, have you heard the school from Melbourne? Oh, Joy, you wouldn't just check this with me, would you? Sending Mrs. Bergen's 10 o'clock erythromycin. Look, I'm sorry. I haven't seen for myself that that's what it definitely is. But, Joy, you know there isn't always time. What, so this all goes to waste and I just have to make it up again? Well, the way things are at the moment. Oh, yeah. No, all right. OK, sorry. Looks like it'll be an MUA. Dr. Raja? Yes? Yeah. I'm a business associate of Mr. Prasad. You ought to marry Mr. Prasad's daughter, am I correct? This is an embarrassing misunderstanding. Mr. Prasad would like me to clear up this misunderstanding. Look, I'll, I've met this guy. On your knees. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. I think I love her. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was the most romantic thing ever. Raj, meet Big Kareem from Orthopedic. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have a BNF, please? Yeah, I'll get it. Good news about you coming out, isn't it? Grand, grand. 
They're going to have my tablets up from the pharmacy this afternoon, Sister said. They say what the tablets are for? Well, they're uh, for the inflammation on my chest. Oh, right. Uh, doctor, um, may I speak with you, please? I prefer if we all spoke openly, together. Well, I think we're happy with what we know. I'm on a ward round, excuse me. It is cancer Dad's got, isn't it? You know I can't answer that without your father's agreement. You don't know what it'd do to Dad to hear that it was cancer. Look, there's going to come a time when you're going to have to share this. That's not going to be possible if you're both living a lie. What was all that about? Oh, I was just asking you when you could go home, that's all. Pathology just bleeped me. The PM must be on the way. Let's go. Um, check to see if there's any interaction with Amiola around. While we're down at the morgue, we might as well book a slab for your chappy with lung cancer. <laughs> the funny thing is, Claire, that Alf Grocott smokes less than you. You know, too many young women take up the habit in the hope that it'll keep their weight down. It does when it's giving them cancer. Hmm. Mm. There are puncture marks on both arms. Must have had some blood taken. Did you take any blood last night? No. Pretty sure no one else would have. OK, let's make a start. So, what is your recollection of Mr. Parker's death? I did the drug rounds late. We were short-staffed. What with Caroline, with staff nurse Richards been on suspension, so... You were late. And what time was it? I shouldn't have to remind you not to smoke. Sorry. It was about midnight. I went to James Parker to see if he wanted a sleeping tablet. He was dead. None of us saw what happened. Hmm. Which is startlingly similar to your account of Mrs. Mansfield's death. Why did you not disclose to us that you have received psychiatric treatment in the past? Stuffness the cigarettes. Sorry. If this rumour is untrue, this is your chance to set the record. It's private. I don't want to discuss it. That is your right in this informal setting. However, should a formal inquiry be instituted... Can I go home now? Please. Hmm. The lungs are nice and pink. Certainly wasn't a smoker. Lungs, no abnormal pathology found. Liver, no abnormal pathology found. So, normal coronary arteries, no evidence of infarction. I'd be staggered if this wasn't your answer. Thanking you muchly. Right, back to the living. Actually, I'd been hoping to get down to Twickenham next Saturday, but the tickets are like gold done. Have you got a moment? Yes. Limit something ideal. Of course, we have to do the same work. So, do we get them? Well, I've got a feeling that this ward round is going to take all. Caroline, we just got the PM on James Park. Andrew, no. Well, if the hospital manager catches her here while she's on suspension, he'll have security chuck her out. Mrs. Mansfield was prescribed oxygen at two litres per minute. That fact is documented in both the doctor's notes and the nurse's cardex. When Phil was called to certify her dead, she was receiving six litres per minute. OK. Did you turn up the oxygen? No. Did you see anyone else turn it up? No. Like Pam Charnley? No. So you saw her deteriorate and you took no action? 